You see how them look worried? Nothing to do for worry about. Just go. No, see, you're going to do for XYZ and you're good to go. There's no prouder tradition than serving in the United States Army. And basic combat training is your first step to becoming a respected member in the profession of arms. Soldier training is demanding, both physically and mentally. But in the end, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment that you'll carry for the rest of your life. During Believe me, there is nothing like that feeling of brotherhood. It might not be the same as before, but that feeling of brotherhood in the army feeling like no other believe me if you know say how many people have your back great feeling in this 10 week training process you'll learn important army values traditions and skills such as teamwork discipline proper military dress land navigation repelling and weapons handling the army has four basic combat training locations including fort moore georgia fort jackson south carolina Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And That's where I went, Fort Leonard Wood. Miserable place, miserable place. Cold as hell in high winter. But at least you've been to the war, so nothing can surprise you anymore. And Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Your training location is determined by your specific army job, which you'll learn in the advanced individual training phase. And those trainees on track to become officers will go on to officer candidate school at Fort Moore after completing their basic training. For all trainees, most nights are spent in the barracks, and every recruit is assigned a bunk and a locker. The only times you don't stay in the barracks is during an overnight field exercise. Three hot meals are provided each day during basic training at the on-post dining facility, or DFAC. The DFAC offers a variety of nutritious food, which will help keep you energized during your tough physical training. Phone calls are limited during basic training, and are- Here from your family, you look too happy. You can't say this was rehearsed of the drill and that look like AIT as well because in in basic training you won't be like outside with this on your phone you get like maybe two minutes the most on, on your phone sergeant packages with treats and snacks are discouraged however letters between family and trainees are highly encouraged after you arrive at your designated training location you'll spend your first several days in reception here you'll fill out paperwork to start getting paid, receive physical exams and immunizations, get a haircut if you're male, and you'll- All who free that like needle and injection and them stuff there. This is where that fear is going to be absolute. You won't have that fear anymore because you have no option but to get the injections. You will have all three needles stick out of your arm at any given moment be issued your army uniform and other personal items. Once you complete reception, you'll move to your training company and meet the drill sergeants who will train and mentor you until graduation. Your first week in the training company is called Yellow Phase. During this phase, you are introduced to military customs and courtesies, discipline, the army ethic, values, army history, physical readiness training, and performance optimization. As a drill sergeant, I'm here to coach, teach, and mentor. I teach trainees the basics, whether it be shooting, moving, communicating, they learn the basics. I feel as though uh, I'm kind of taking a child and molding them into something that they join the Army to be. Um, and usually that's to better themselves, they coming into the Army to discipline themselves as well, uh, to learn a new career path, something of that sort. So it's my job to show them a new way of life. After recruits complete yellow phase, they enter their next phase of training called red phase, which- 
so the yellow phase is basically reception which is the most boring phase because you know do you don't do any real combat training you feel me like you don't do much you just most reception you're keeping shape you get used to the routine but yellow phase is basically just a dry phase like a test run before you go into actual basic which is this red phase it lasts about three weeks here you'll learn the fundamentals and traditions of being a professional soldier including the warrior ethos and the soldier's creed this phase includes daily physical training and other physical tasks such as the confidence course team development course repel tower and mbc chamber this is where you start your fitness transformation the army combat fitness test is administered yeah don't wait till you get here if you try to get fit i made that mistake i made that mistake like me, I, me never really completely unfit but i feel like we could have done more before going into this because when you're going there is a whole different routine their thing is so structured you have to work with their you know their routine so wait till they get don't wait till they get here which is not here these are like officers right here sergeants or whatever but before this as a basic train training personnel you need to do more way more do a lot of stretches you know go to the gym if you have to go for a run just don't go in there completely unfit so you will see how you do on your first pt test this will consist of a deadlift standing power throw push-ups a sprint drag carry the plank and a two-mile run and you'll learn basic soldier tasks like how to pack and load your rucksack and clean your issued weapon the hardest part of red phase for me was definitely adjusting living with about 40 people in a bay ranging from ages 18 to almost 40 and different yeah i always tell people this the most difficult part about basic training as an adult as a grown adult is to deal with the younger people coming in people coming out of high school that's the worst because they come they don't this is the first time coming from home they've never been away from home they all they call in army they call them couch potatoes most of them are internet soldiers they know everything about the army but they have not experienced any form of independence so they come here they're very inexperienced which you can't really blame them because it's not like it's their fault but you know just have to make it where you have to be just have to know so you're going in there are a lot of different backgrounds ethnicities people coming from way different environments coming into one room one bunk actually so different cultures and backgrounds and ethnicities learning to work together as a team it can definitely be one of the biggest biggest challenges in red phase after red phase you'll enter white phase this phase lasts about two weeks and increases the level of fitness training and your soldiering skills including how to set a perimeter hand-to-hand -hand combat drills basic rifle marksmanship first aid and land navigation it's through training such as this that you start to come together as a team and practice the leadership resiliency and teamwork skills you're learning at the same time you're gaining a new confidence you don't have to be the strongest or the fastest you just have to be mentally ready and you have to push yourself through and be your own support. Every day you're going to have to give it everything you got. This isn't an easy thing to do. It's a, it's a choice to leave your job, leave your family. But ultimately, I think there's paving the way for the future is important and showing your family that you can do whatever you set your mind to if you're really willing to put in the work. It's all mental and you have to constantly tell yourself like you will get through it and you will complete this training because that's what's going to keep you at the end of the day. The last phase, blue phase, is about three weeks long and completes your transformation from civilian to soldier. During this phase, you'll learn advanced marksmanship, the proper way to throw grenades, and maneuvering techniques. You're trained to engage targets and learn how to operate. Some of the stuff they teach you, like for example, with the weapon you see with there, like it's gonna it's gonna seem redundant, but there's a reason, there's a method to the madness. They always tell you that. Is a method to the madness everything that they show you with a weapon it might seem silly you have to make some crazy noises like imitating like gunshot or explosions but believe me it actually help you it make you like it makes you like you know confident in where i do it might seem repetitive as we say and redundant but just get through it it, it doesn't last forever 
basic training is the easiest part of the military career believe you me it might seem difficult but believe me it's the easiest great and move as a small team the end of blue phase culminates in a nighttime infiltration exercise look at night and a 10 mile road march this time is also where you will receive your u.s army badge which will be worn on the left shoulder of your uniform and your black beret the importance of this ceremony is to be able to allow the trainees to be able to recognize what it is that they've accomplished, that the script that they've listened to to the beginning lets them know the legacy of which they are now a part of, where they've been called through this whole process of, they've heard trainee, trainee, that now being able to be part of the soldier induction ceremony, that now they take that next step in their careers, in their lives, that they're no longer trainees, now they become soldiers. Your last week of basic combat training is graduation week. I never, I never get this big celebration with family and all that because I went in the middle of COVID, the middle of COVID. So it was just us, the trainees and the, um, the instructors, which are drill sergeants and the commanders and the officers and whatever. But I never get this big celebration. So didn't really feel that much accomplished but you know it is what it is covid messed up a lot of things but this it seems nice where you'll take your final pt test for graduation time also includes family day in addition to the graduation ceremony itself you'll also spend time out processing and preparing for the next phase of your army career which is your advanced individual training i've learned that i always have to put the otherwise known as ait team first no matter what and that selfless service is the most important thing a soldier can do it's a great learning experience it instills discipline and i think it's overall really beneficial for society as a whole. Basic training is not going to be easy. It's not made to be easy. The drill sergeants are going to be hard on you. That's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. Do not take it personal. Take it as a learning experience and constantly tell yourself that you can do it and you will do it. There's no denying that basic combat training is tough, but you'll find that becoming a valued member of the world's greatest army is one of your life's major accomplishments, and the skills you learn will be ones you use for the rest of your life. It's also your first step in a career as a soldier, learning tough physical and mental skills, as well as nurturing your leadership abilities will create limitless opportunities as you move forward in army training. Join us and discover untapped possibilities.